Hi, my name is Mohammed, and I'm a third year medical student studying in London. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to talk and think about how we can get more work done in less time. And that could be applied to anything in your life. But I think especially it applies for the things that you really don't enjoy doing, but you have to do these things on a regular basis, like studying, like doing the cleaning and doing the laundry. So I think many of us have things that we have to do on a regular basis. So I think this video is for anyone who wants to like start completing these tasks to get them over with, to have some time to do all of the things that you enjoy doing. Like maybe continue the book that you have been reading, um, catch up with friends and family, start a business, and maybe starting to exercise more. So I still remember during the first two years of medical school, I used to spend almost the whole day studying. And that was because I was so determined in getting the highest grades possible. And that meant that I believed that working long hours meant I was working hard and me being productive. And I avoided taking breaks and going out because I felt that these things were pulling me back from my goals and were just wasting my time. As I continued doing this for some time, things started to backfire. I started to procrastinate. And the reason why I started to procrastinate was because there was no distinction between my study time and the time I was having fun. And this meant that when I was studying, I went on social media whenever I felt like going through it. I watched episodes in Netflix whenever I felt mentally drained and brain fogged. And I always used to tell myself, I'm going to watch only one more episode and then I'm gonna continue the lecture. And you know how that ends? You never watch one lecture, you don't watch two. You end up watching like four and five and six and you end up not finishing that lecture. So as I continued doing this for some time, I started to slowly realize that I wasn't being productive and I'm not having fun either. So the reason why I made today's video is because I want to tell you that working long hours does not mean you are being productive or you are working hard. And today I want to share with you two amazing tactics that have alhamdulillah helped me get more work done in less time and gave me the opportunity to start doing things that I enjoy doing and things that I want to start doing like this YouTube channel that I just started. And inshallah these tactics will have the potential to help you get more work done in less time and even in the slightest way possible. So if this sounds interesting, then let's get right into these tactics. Tactic number one is Parkinson's law. And Parkinson's law states that work expands as to fill the time available for its completion. So what does that mean? For example, if you give a task one week for it to be completed, it will take you one week for you to complete it. Or for example, when I used to study for almost the whole day, the reason why I used to do that was because I didn't put a firm deadline for myself to stop studying. And what makes this tactic really powerful is that when you set yourself a firm deadline for you to stop doing something, you can leverage the added pressure that comes with it. And when you are in a pressurized situation, you're going to procrastinate less because you want to get it done before that deadline. So what am I doing now is like every day, 7 p.m., I put myself a hard stop because after 7 p.m., I don't study anything medically related after that. So I try my best before 7 p.m. to get everything completed and I end up procrastinating much less. I'm on social media less often. And I think this is amazing because I started getting a lot more work done in less time. So I'm telling you this because it is really important to assign the right amount of time for the specific task that you want to do. And the reason why we procrastinate, I want you to remember this, is that we have given ourselves so much time to complete a task. And this is why we procrastinate. And when we have so much time to complete the task, we end up not feeling pressurized. And it is really important to feel pressurized, to be in a pressurized situation to execute our tasks properly. And you want to do that by telling yourself that you will not get the chance and opportunity to do these tasks after the time assigned. And this way, you will not only get much more work done, but inshallah, you will get time available to do all of the things that you want to do. 
And when you do this, you are conditioning your mind to procrastinate less and being more productive and end up getting more work done during that time frame. And I'm not going to explain how to implement Parkinson's law just yet, because I have to first explain the second tactic first, as both of these tactics will supplement each other. So make sure to stay till the end of the video. And tactic number two is the Pomodoro method. The Pomodoro method is a productivity method that was developed by Francesco Cirillo. So he states that the optimal time to spend on a task is 25 minutes followed by a five minute break. And each 25 minutes is called a Pomodoro. He states that because our natural ability to concentrate on a task is around 10 to 40 minutes. And after 40 minutes, our minds will start wandering around and our concentration on the task is going to start to diminish. The Pomodoro method works because, for example, when you're in a seminar or in a university lecture, research shows that people remember most of the information that has been said at the start of the lecture and at the end of the lecture. And usually people forget what's been learned during the middle of the lecture. This is why if we don't take regular breaks, we're going to be likely to not remember most of the information that has been learned. However, when we study for 25 minute sessions, followed by a five minute break, we're going to start creating more beginnings and more endings. And what's in the middle is going to be very small. And this way, inshallah, we're going to get much more out of the session compared to not taking breaks. And you might be wondering, what do I do in between breaks? So these five minute breaks, I take them really seriously. And I focus on relaxing my mind after this intense session of whatever I was doing. And I usually avoid things like sitting around my place and going on social media because these things do the complete opposite of relaxing my mind. So I do three main things. So the first thing is I just focus on deep breathing just to like get more oxygen to my body. And two is rehydrate myself as our body contains around 70%. So hydration is really good for us. And three is just like moving around and uh, changing the state of my body. For example, if I was uh, sitting when I was doing the task, I, I just stand up and like move around. And I feel like when I do this, this helps me become more refreshed when I get back. My curiosity becomes better. My creativity also gets better as well. I mentioned earlier that both Parkinson's law and the Pomodoro method supplement each other. So they supplement each other because when you implement Parkinson's law, you're going to leverage the added pressure that comes with it. And when you're in a pressurized situation, you're going to end up being more productive and procrastinate less. And when you implement the Pomodoro method, you're going to start making the most out of your study sessions and hopefully your creativity and curiosity will be better as well. And yes, I know it might be hard at first. It may require a certain amount of willpower to implement both of these methods. But if you choose to stay consistent with these two habits, inshallah, they're going to become automatic and you're going to end up doing them without you even thinking. So how can we incorporate both tactics into our lives? So the first thing that you want to do is you want to make a conscious decision that you want to implement both of these tactics. Because otherwise, if you don't decide, you'll never do it. And this is the thing that's going to get you committed. And then you want to decide on what tasks do you want to assign these tactics for? Is it your studying? Is it your business? Or is it your cleaning? So preferably assign these tactics for the tasks that you see yourself spending most time on. The tasks that you find difficult to do. The tasks that you find boring to do, but you need to get these tasks over with. And what you want to do after is you want to decide how much time you want to invest on that specific task. Or else how are you going to implement Parkinson's law if you don't have a deadline? And then once you have a specific time frame for a specific task, see how many Pomodoro sessions you want to complete within that time frame. And the last tip that I want to share with you today is eliminate distractions. So, for example, if you're working on a desk, I believe working in a clean environment 
helps you be more motivated and more productive as well. And if like you're working in a messy desk, declutter your environment as this will help your attention be more on your work rather than on the mess around you. Another way you can eliminate distraction is just put your phone away. And I don't really need to explain why. And the purpose of this video is to get more work done in less time. So you don't need any more distraction to get you away from the work and you want to be productive and don't want to procrastinate. So what I want to do is just like get over the work that we have to do and we can enjoy doing whatever we like after. I know we have gone through a lot of things in this video, so take some time to reflect on what we've talked about. How can you implement these two tactics into your life? And I really hope that you found this video interesting and you found it enjoyable. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this about personal growth and development. And see you next week, inshallah.